Guess what we're doing today? So, it is supposed to be in the 90s here in Northern Michigan all week. So we thought we would make another fun frozen dog treat. What do you guys think? Frozen dog treats? And because it's summertime, we are going to use watermelon, which we've done a couple watermelon treats in the past. If you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of our videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, hit that bell to turn on all notifications so you can always know when we upload new videos. We're going to make some, we're going to call them popsicles, but... I couldn't find the trays I wanted where I could actually put sticks in them, so they're not going to have sticks in them. So we're going to make some popsicles this size and some little mini ones this size. I will also have some of Amazon affiliate links for some of the things you see in the video here down in the video description below. Let's get to making some stuff. What do you think, Shelby? Are you comfortable? Is the floor nice and cold? That's what I thought. Oh, and you can probably hear our air conditioner going in the background, but I'm sorry, I am not turning it off. <laughs> So the first thing you are going to need today is a watermelon. This is actually a personal seedless watermelon. I'm sure it actually has seeds in it. But we're going to cut this open and uh, scoop out some watermelon so we can make some watermelon juice. So there is little seeds in here. So basically you just want to make sure not to get a whole lot of those in whatever you scoop out of your watermelon. And you can use a watermelon with seeds. You're just going to have to pick the seeds out. What do you think? If this is like... There's a watermelon, I would like some. This watermelon is so soft, look at this. I didn't even have to like squish it to make juice. I'm gonna have to squish a little bit of it. What do you think? Wanna try it? Oh, it's like your own water dish of watermelon. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if anybody else wants some. Wanna try some Oakley? She's like, whoa, I can drink this right out of this watermelon bowl? That's pretty good stuff, huh? <laughs> Shelby says, I am not a fan of that much watermelon. It needs to have other things added to it. But these two are like, oh, we'll, we'll keep drinking that watermelon. <laughs> so we have our one cup of watermelon that is all nice and juicified and strained. No more seeds in it. Now we're going to add something that not everybody might be able to get. We're going to add a little more than a half a cup of bone broth. Now make sure if you're buying your bone broth in the store that you check and make sure it doesn't have onions in it. We are actually using the Primal Raw Beef Bone Broth. I got this at our local pet store. We're going to add a little bit of this to it just to give it a little meaty flavor. Plus bone broth is really really good for dogs and I'm pretty sure that that might entice Miss Shelby to actually enjoy it. If not, I might just have to freeze her a couple of only bone broth cubes because she can be a little picky at times. So we're going to go ahead and do about a half a cup of that and add it to this. Also I wanted to show you I saved my half a watermelon for my bowl so we can use it as a photo. What do you think? What do you think Miss Oakley? She's like I don't know but it's starting to smell good in there. So we mixed the bone broth in with the watermelon juice and now we're going to add the last ingredient which is Actually, again, something we haven't used before I found in the store today. This is dairy-free coconut milk yogurt. It is unsweetened. I checked all the ingredients to make sure that it's okay for the dogs to have. And of course, they've done a lot of coconut things before. We've done straight coconut milk before. I also want to point out, if you're making this at home and you don't have bone broth or you don't have coconut milk yogurt, you can use regular plain unsweetened yogurt and you can use water or you can just use a little bit of chicken broth or beef broth. You can definitely modify this any way you want to make this for your pets. This is just how we're doing it today. So we're gonna go ahead and add like a whole cup of this to our mixture. So these are kind of gonna be like watermelon smoothie popsicles, popsicles. I always think it, I look at them and I think of Zootopia, but we don't have sticks to put in them. Maybe we'll find sticks sometime. <laughs> So we want to lick the lid since you didn't like the, you already got it all over your face. Since you didn't like the watermelon, is that good stuff? She's like, oh, that's kind of good. I kind of like that. You want to share? You want to try some? You want to try a little bit? Good stuff? All right, that's going in your treats. So we have our juice all nice and mixed. It's very pink. It smells interesting. I don't think I want to try it because of the bone broth stuff in it. <laughs> But these girls 
are ready. You gotta wait till it freezes though. Now we're gonna pour it into these molds. I'm gonna make three big ones and then I'm gonna pour the rest into the small ones. And if we have any left over, I will just refrigerate it until these are frozen and then I can pull them out and pop those out, put them in a container and pour more in. So let's go ahead and do that. Oakley's like, how about I'll drink some of this water? <laughs> uh, oh, and for those that are gonna ask, how long do you leave them in the freezer? Till they're frozen. If you don't want them super hard, you wanna put them in for like four to six hours. The big ones might take a little longer. Uh, if you want them super hard, make sure you leave them in overnight. Let's pour these in the molds. They are in the molds. As I said, I made a couple that are just bone broth in case Shelby doesn't like the watermelon bone broth ones. And then we filled some big ones as well. And I got about that much left, so I should be able to do this about twice. So we're gonna stick these in the freezer and let them freeze so the dogs can try them. It'll be a good day for it too, because it's like 90 degrees outside, which I know for some of you is not very hot. Some of you guys always comment and say, that's not hot. Well, we live in Northern Michigan and it normally doesn't get this hot up here for more than a week and that's it. And we're on week two of the crazy heat. So after leaving them in the refrigerator overnight, we have little popsicles. Memphis is like, can I just have one? Can I, can I have one? <laughs> we also have big ones. They turned out pretty cute as well. Memphis, Memphis, no, Memphis, no. Okay, you can have one. You want one? You want one? You can have one. Okay, you want one? You can have one. You want one? Okay, you can have one. You good stuff? Oakley's like, I gotta take my time. <laughs> Let's take you guys outside and let you enjoy one outside and see what you think. But apparently, Oakley likes eating the little ones inside. So they turned out pretty cute. I wanted to show you guys the big ones I made. I made them kind of thin, so even though they look big, they're not super big. All right, let's go give them a try. See what they think. All right, so because I have a feeling these will take them a little bit longer to eat, I have all three of them out here at once. Here, Shelby. Oh my goodness. Here, Oakley. Oh man. You ready, Memphis? You ready? There you go. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. What do you think? It's like, whoa. Is that awesome? It's like, I gotta find a place to hide it. It's big and it's cold. My memory card filled up. You got it. Shelby's like, this one's mine. You can't have it. Memphis has demolished hers, which is kind of what I thought would happen. I figured of all of them, Memphis would just demolish it. <laughs> is it good stuff? She's like, this is amazing. I'm gonna have to put you back inside while these other two enjoy theirs so that you don't try to bother them and take it from them. She's like, that's okay. I will take theirs. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, it's on your paws, honey. It's on your paws. What do you think, Shelby? Shelby's like, I, I really like this. I really do. Is it good stuff? Oakley's like, I don't know guys, it's a lot of work. I'm gonna go get Oakley a little one so she can try one of the little ones. Is it good, Shelby? I will take that as a yes. What if I break it into pieces? Is this easier? She's like, oh. Oh yeah, I like that. Is that better? Yeah, that's what you want. You want me to hold it. That was good stuff? All right, well, I guess I'll, I'll hold a few for you, but I'm not gonna film it while I do it. That's a little difficult. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, there you have it. Watermelon smoothie treats for dogs. I think everybody enjoyed them. Oakley just needed me to hold hers for her. I think I might let her have one in her kennel. I might put a towel down because I actually think that's really what she wants is she wants to take it back inside. So we might do that for her in a little bit here. But otherwise, I think they really, really enjoyed it. Shelby, I know what you're thinking. Look at this hole she's already dug. What a brat. Are you looking for crumbs, Miss Memphis? <laughs> All right, you guys, as we have said before, there will be links for more of our treat videos up in the cards above and down in the video description below. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you 
again soon. You're looking for all the crumbs. Memphis is like, I'm on cleanup duty. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>